In the world of the super-rich, where fine wines and rare caviar are commonplace, standing out from the crowd can be difficult. When your friends can afford anything, money alone won't make your dinner parties special. So you need the right people to source products no one else can get their hands on. I sell white, I sell black, I sell by the gram. This product is a, it's like, it's a commodity and it changes on a weekly basis. Mira Cortese is one of Britain's most exclusive truffle dealers. But her number isn't easy to come by. I don't publicize, I don't market myself. I am a very niche business with a very niche product and it's really by word of mouth. Um, I can either get to you after 12 um, or I can come anytime this evening. So you just let me know, whatever works for you. The minimum order is 100 grams, and that has to be fairly central London. Mayfair, Knightsbridge, Belgravia, Notting Hill, St John's Wood, Hampstead, Holland Park, Kensington, and delivering all over London. The fact is that I offer a very highly personal service, and offering a very high, highly personalised service means that, you know, you feel extra special. How would I get your number in the first place? Ah, you've got to be in the know. You know, God, how do you get my number? Available for only a few months of the year, truffles are one of the world's most expensive fungi. It's a real kind of mushroomy, kind of garlicky smell. Harvested in the wild from under the ground, a single truffle can be worth over a thousand pounds. And in top restaurants, the mirror slice adds hundreds to the bill. And for Mira, business is booming. Please take them off. Oh, wow. So these are the big pieces. Okay. Lately, she's been selling 10 kilos of truffles a week. Oh. My business is definitely a sign of the times. So we need half a kilo. Just before we met, I did a delivery for a kilo. How much is a kilo? 2,000 pounds. I thought we were in age of austerity. Not if you look at the truffle market. It's definitely not austerity. Hello. Hello. The desire for exclusivity is never more apparent than in the world of white truffles. I have one and a half kilos of white and a kilo of black. But like caviar, oysters, and other favorites of the wealthy, this truffle has a humble history. The irony is, is truffle started off as a peasant food. It was the food the poor ate in Italy. And today it's become one of the most sought after food items in the world. This is kind of worth, you know, 100 quid and 100 pounds. What do we find valuable? What is it that we value as a society? Is it really about the delicacy? Is it really about the fact that this is only available two months a year and that you're really passionate about it, which actually for some people it is. Uh, or is it really about, it's so expensive and it's kind of feels almost like it's unattainable, so you must at all costs attain it. Like many elite food, Mira's truffles have become a pawn in the game of dinner party one-upmanship. There is definitely a very strong element of the status factor of truffles. You're making a statement, especially if you're doing it amongst a group of people. You know, keeping up with the Joneses is a mentality that's existed for a long time, but you just see it a lot more when people become more wrapped up with the more money they have. I'm doing my juice cleanse right now because I just got back from holiday. Marissa Hermer is an American expat living in London. Her husband owns a string of restaurants and bars, including Prince Harry's favorite nightclub, Bougie's. I like sharing really nice food and nice wine with friends. You sort of want to pull out all the stops, and the best way to do that is with luxurious food. Her extravagant dinner parties have featured in Tatler and are legendary in the Mayfair social scene. So there is a certain level that I need to attain to when I'm a hostess. Um, it's a pleasure to do that. Hi. Hi, Marissa. Hi. With a reputation to uphold, she's obtained Mira's number and wants to talk truffles. 
Wow, what a beautiful home. Oh, wow. I'm really excited. You come very well. You're, you're famous, or rather your reputation precedes you. Really? Mm. <laughs> I've booked in a lot of truffle dinners, um, so, I, so I need you. Were you going to do all three courses with truffles? So I like doing like a truffle starter, a, a truffle entree, and a truffle pudding. This is my pasta. So this is what we do Check for truffles. I mean, if you've got Italian chef coming, you can get him to make fresh tagliolini. Fabulous. The yep. question for you is, in terms of the truffles that you want mm. me to find for you, do you want big? Do you want small? Are you going to serve them at the table? Are you going to have the chef mm. shave them? Because we've got a few truffle hunters that we work with mm. and we'll pick the best ones for you. So that is kind of important for me to know. Size always matters a little bit. <laughs> I want big ones. <laughs> And big ones aren't cheap. I can't tell you today how much the price is going to be because the truffle price has changed on a weekly basis. It's like a commodity and depends. Like gold. Last year the price varied between two to three thousand um, pounds a kilo. It's expensive, but I'd rather buy a really nice truffle than a Chanel handbag. Actually, I want both. Is what I is. <laughs> For people like Marissa, personal supply is a part of the Mayfair lifestyle. For all businesses serving the super rich, getting hold of what they want is half the battle. Oh, are you going? Are you going? Oh. And when your product is as rare as white truffles, there's little love lost between competing suppliers. Hi, Mira, it's Linda at the River Cafe. Hey, Linda, how are you doing? Yeah, good, how are you? Marvellous, thank you. In London, there, there are probably a handful of truffle dealers. It's very competitive, very cutthroat, um, and it needs to be because it's a season that lasts three months, you know, October to December, and it's over. So you drop the ball, you lose a client. Just like in Tom Harrow's wine business, when things are this competitive, it's all about who you know. And in this, Mira trumps them all. The context I have for truffles is unique. My father-in-law is from Umbria um, and Tuscany. Truffles being very prominent in the region meant that he had the contacts to buy truffles. So from day one of meeting my husband, whenever we went to Umbria, there was always truffles on the menu for lunch and for dinner. Mira's married into an old Italian truffling family, and every November, she pays the in-laws a timely visit. My traveling back and forth to Italy is really about me doing the quality control, and I'm hand-selecting these truffles that is really important to my client because they know that I'm taking that extra special care for their meal. The key is buying well, and you know, you've got to be able to take what you want and get it at the right price, and you have to be quite ruthless about it. Truffle hunting in Umbria is an age old tradition, and Mira's contact, Alvaro Giordino, is one of the region's most respected hunters. Dosta Kika. Il bianco si trova solo nei posti umidi, con i bioppi, terra bianca, vicino ai largini dei fiumi. Speciale per mangiare, sì. È ottimo. È l'oro bianco della cucina italiana. Mira's relationship with Umbria serves an important function for her clients. It helps build up the story of her exclusive brand. Because I'm married to the Italian network, I have access to people who get them straight from the ground. You know, you're as close to the source as you can, you know, short of flying over to Italy and digging it up. If you have a great story and a great product, you know, it's the winning combination. One down, two more to go. <laughs> I think my story is quite a good one. Over the next 48 hours, Mira visits three different dealers. Mamma mia! And smells more than 100 kilos of truffles. This is such a stonking year. Searching for Italy's finest product. Well, I have certain clients in mind that I, um, 
I need to buy for. So I'm looking in terms of what I know that they would like to look at, to see, to feel, to touch, to smell. So I mean, it's all, it's all on your senses. Four hundred grams. There's definitely prestige in the big ones. I mean, you take it out, people go, wow, because you can tell that someone spent a shit of money. But what she's ultimately looking for is something a little more subtle. The red in the white truffle is like a hallmark. So when you see the red, you see that it's actually grown near the roots of the trees. And some people, when they look for a truffle, they really know their stuff will never be put off by the red. We'll actually only buy a truffle which has got a bit of red staining. That, that's what I'm getting. Three kilos. So how quickly could you sell these in London? Well, I would say anywhere between a day to two days is uh, probably likely that I will sell these. In this current market, in this climate, with these prices. But the price is one thing Mira never discusses in public. You need to slowly, carefully pack and slowly and carefully pull across. I do have a figure in mind. Now, if I tell you, then I've told everybody, so. <laughs> I've got to go this way. So, are you going to uh, stay here and I'll be back? Where are you going? To the office to organise payment. Mira will leave Italy with seven kilos of truffles. By the time she's added her commission and the prestige of her hand-delivered service, these fungi will have tripled in value and her haul could be worth over 15,000 pounds. Perry. I'm at Oxford Hi. Circus. I'll be with you hopefully in about two seconds. In central London, Mira is back with her haul of Italian truffles. Got up at the crack of dawn, abandoned my children to, uh, to go and do some deliveries. Who would get so exciting about delivering? Moi! Moi, 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 moi. Right, that's the way we go. I mean, how glamorous is this? Like, zero. Hi, I'm here to see Jean-Philippe. Over the next three hours, she will sell over £5,000 worth of truffles to restaurants, dining clubs and private clients. This has been quite a season for Mira. I'd say this was my record year. I hit sales of uh, about 70 kilos, 70 kilos of truffles. This year, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people could afford it. But all the demands and hobnobbing are taking their toll. Oh, hat. And Mira is tiring of the truffle game. I have seen a different world where there's this obsession with food that I can't bear anymore. On some level, I think the balance is completely a bit skewed. There's a snobbery about truffles and Oh, yeah, I'm a bit tired of it, to be honest. Oh, for God's sake, where the f am I? When I say to people I'm a truffle dealer, they go, wow, how glamorous. It's like, well, actually, is it glamorous being a delivery girl? Um, maybe some people say, no, you're more than a delivery girl, you know, you're the expert on truffles. I'm like, yes, but is it that big a deal? And I guess, to me, it's not that big a deal. You know, it's a mushroom. <laughs> it's a fungus. 